Hey guys, welcome back to Team Deathslinger. My name is Peter, and today we're going to be looking at what I think is the coolest card in BT16. So this is BT16 Cerberus Mon, and I think that this card is super, super healthy for the Digimon TCG because this card is the best card for casual purple players. Now, what this card does is that when an effect plays one of your Digimon, one of your Digimon gets rushed for the turn. That doesn't sound super important. However, this does enable us to do a lot of things with a lot of old purple cards using a specific engine. So let's take a look at what that is right now. So this is the main engine that I want to talk about. We have Black Gralmon for Security Plus One, Cerberus Mon, which will give Rush to a Digimon when we play it by an effect, and then Cerberus X Antibody to allow us to play out a level three and then give it Rush with the Cerberus Mon. Um, and then we can also delete one of our other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon. Now, it should be possible with all of these mega levels to OTK the opponent, uh, just with this stack and a rookie on board. You might need some trash setup, but it should be totally possible. I have done it in testing with Chaos Gallopmon using the Gizmon engine. Um, Anubismon benefits from this a lot with the Gizmon engine. Both of those two are more specific examples for me because I have played them. Um, but the Anubismon is going to give you uh, two Digimon with Rush, basically, because it's going to play one out itself, and then you get one off the Cerberus X, and then everything that comes out gets Rush. So it just kind of enables the Gizmon combo uh, a lot more fluidly without you needing like 10 geese mods in trash, which is really great. The Chaos Gallant mod works kind of similarly. It's a little bit more trash uh, setup dependent because you're going to play out the level three. Uh, when it dies, you're going to get to play another level three with no on play because of the Chaos Gallant mod. And I usually get the second one rush. So you can get four checks out of the Chaos Gallant mod, a fifth check out of the rookie. And then if you play the Beelzebub Blast mode, you can unsuspend and swing again, or you could um, go into hybrid for game. Uh, any of those work. And then the security attack Digimon should all hypothetically be able to do the same thing. So this is really, really fantastic because if you are a casual purple player and you don't want to play, let's say, any kind of archetype that is super meta right now, like you don't want to play Minerva Mon, you don't want to play Leviathan, you don't want to play Garuru Mon, you should be able to pick up a pile of purple cards that enable you to play the boss monster you want. That is healthy for a casual audience. If I say, man, I really like Titamon. I wish there was a, you know, non-archetypal way to play Titamon. Or like for me, I really like Chaos Gallimon. I wish there was a way to play him where he is my boss monster and he's actually useful. Uh, and this is a way you can do that where your boss monster feels viable in a way. You're not going to beat decks like Black or Greymon X or, you know, something that's going to lock you down and stop your stack from coming out without any type of protection. And you can totally die during your five checks because you don't have protection. But you can win games with this. And that is attractive for people who aren't interested in playing specifically meta decks. So I just thought this was really cool. I did want to share it. Uh, this week I will be posting a deck profile for my version of Chaos Gallimon, Anubis Mon, Gizmon Loop. That's a lot of adjectives, but that's what it is. Um, I think it's fun enough. I played it against uh, Vaccine Leomon, and it works pretty okay. I played it against... Uh, Wargreymon X, and it works pretty okay. I would encourage you, if you've got some older cards that you really like playing, you give this a try and see if you're able to OTK your opponent with it. Um, it's tons of fun, though. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I think we should print more cards like this for other colors that just enable you to play whatever you want. Like, I want to be able to play Ceres Mon from, what is it, BT5, or like Victory Greymon. Just really generic ways to enable players to win the game and not necessarily reward them for going off the beaten path, but to, to not say no to those players. So... That's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, and have a nice day.